Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and I'm back with an update on my Undertale theme for Super Mario Maker. Previously, the theme had The Ruins and Sans as a playable character. I got tons of requests to add Frisk instead. Subscriber Omar the Nerd made a tile set for Frisk, and I added it to the game. Today we'll take a quick look at some improvements as well as a look at a new area, Snowden, which I've added to the mod as well. Before we get started, be sure to leave a comment on ideas for this mod, hit that like button, and also hit that subscribe button. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so let's check out Snowden real quickly. As you can see, we have the perfectly shaped lamp down there, the mailbox, little flowers that pop up. The vines have been replaced with ladders. The donut blocks are still the switches for now. We're probably going to change that eventually. We have snowman heads as the clouds. And then we can actually smack enemies with our umbrella. Since it is taking place of the leaf power up, you can do all the same things you could with it. If you collect the fire flower, you can throw fireballs. This might get changed to snowballs, although all it'll do is knock out enemies. It won't actually freeze them. The ruins I'm still working on as well, fixing up some little mistakes, mostly working on semi-solids, the same with Snowden. Every time I test out a little level, I keep a close eye on the semi-solids. I eventually want to make it to where the semi-solids will look good no matter how you use them. All right, now that we've taken a quick look at the updated elements, let's take a closer look at Frisk in gameplay. So here we have standard Frisk, who is super tiny. We really need a power up. Though it will be easier to hide myself behind that conveniently shaped lamp over there. I like this little face they've made out of blocks here. Oh, there's a fire flower. We need a Koopa Troopa. Okay, I found a Koopa Troopa. You made a fire flower. Nobody gets hurt. Okay, I lied. People are going to get hurt now. I have a fire flower. This level's pretty cool. It has a very traditional feel, which is always one of my favorite style of levels. As you can see, the pipes have been made a brownish color. Kind of goes with the modded items real well. We have a bunch of enemies over here. Luckily, we have a Koopa shell. Plus, we have our fire flower power up still. Hammer Bros! We have another conveniently shaped lamp here. Sadly, we can only hide in front of it and not behind it. All right, back to the ruins. Let's see if we can slide in here. I love that Frisk slides on their butt. All right, now we just need that P-switch. Maybe we need it to get across here. Maybe it just makes getting across here a little easier. Probably the case. Hey, we found a boot! Give me the boot. Let's see what Frisk looks like in the boot. That's pretty awesome. All right, fire flower and a boot. Nothing can go wrong now. Pop. Koopa Troopas, I'll take you out. Ask some cheese. We'll leave that cheese there. It looks like it's been sitting there a while. All right, so Benjamin's other level was so good. Let's do another Benjamin level with this mod applied. World 1-1, the adventure begins. All right, got the leaf power up, so we have our umbrella. I guess we'll take the top route here. Koopa Troopas and Goombas everywhere. Smack you, jump on you. Ooh, nice, okay. And there's a bonus area, I love that. I really like when people take Mario 3 levels and add a place to fly up to like this. We can land on our little spider webs up there. Definitely pretty cool. The flying animation with the umbrella does look pretty good. Could use a little bit of adjustments. Like I said, this is only version 2.0 of this mod. It's definitely a little rough around the edges, but overall, I think it's coming together really nice. Definitely need to replace these breakable flashing blocks, the question mark blocks, all that kind of stuff. I want to make it all to where it matches the theme a little bit better. All right, guys, this will conclude our look at the 2.0 version of the Undertale mod for Super Mario Maker. Let me know your thoughts on the updates in the comments below. Let me know what else you'd like to see added to this mod as well as other mods you'd like to see me make. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you around.